Okay, so WordPress 6.8 is out soon. And while it might not be reinventing the wheel, it's packing some really smart updates that could make your daily WordPress life better. You know sometimes how it's the little things that make the biggest difference? That's what WordPress 6.8 is about. We've got two standout features, a smart new way to make pages load faster, and a security upgrade that's working behind the scenes to keep your site safe. Plus, there's a whole bunch of thoughtful refinements that just make WordPress feel better. Let's take a look at what's coming and why you might actually love these changes. And the first thing I wanna show you is how to test WordPress 6.8 without putting it on your site. And the easiest way to do that is come to playground.wordpress.net and that will spin up a WordPress website for you where you can test out things like adding plugins, themes and things like that. But you can also test out all the new features and functions inside WordPress 6.8. And to do that, all you need to do is come up to the little cog icon in the top right corner, click on that, and then click on the WordPress version dropdown and choose 6.8. And then once you've chosen 6.8, apply settings and reset playground. And that'll open up a site running WordPress 6.8. Let's start with something pretty cool, speculative loading. Okay, the name sounds super technical, but here's why you'll like it. You know that split second delay when someone clicks a link on your site? WordPress is about to make that feel smoother. Here's how it works. Imagine your website is a really attentive waiter. Instead of waiting for someone to order, it starts preparing as soon as they pick up the menu. That's exactly what WordPress will do now. When someone hovers over a link, it starts loading that page in the background. While it's not going to turn your site into a Formula One race car, it does make browsing feel more natural and responsive. And the best part, it just works. No complicated setup needed. Though if you're a developer, you can totally customize how it behaves. Now, let's talk about something visual. Remember the style book feature, yet the one that gives you an overview of your site's design elements, including colors, typography, and block styles. Well, it's finally coming to classic themes. The themes that don't support full site editing. Okay, so on this demo site, I've just added Astra so that we can look at where the style book is. So find it, all we need to do is come over to appearance here, hover over that, and then click on design. And now we get this design section and under design here, we can see we've got the styles book right there. Click on that. And that's gonna open up the styles for this site and everything from colors, typography, to images, separators, buttons, headings, and much more. You may have noticed as well, if I head back, you'll see also the patterns have been moved here as well. So that's appearance, design, patterns. You'll be able to see all your patterns for your site right in one place. Okay, so a really handy feature that's been added is where you can turn any image block into your featured image with just one click. Okay, to demonstrate this, I've just opened the block editor and I've added an image to this post. And then all you need to do to set this image right here as a featured image is just click on the image, then click on the three little dots here, and then you'll see set as featured image as an option. Just click on that. And we can see post feature image has been updated. That easy. If you're a full site editor user, here's something you'll appreciate. The global styles panel just got a bit smarter. You know how sometimes you wanna make site-wide change to your fonts or colors? Well, the updated styles panel in your sidebar now gives you a more streamlined way to handle these global design tweaks. Okay, to show you this, I'm just gonna switch over from using a classic theme to a block theme. I'm just gonna to go to appearance, and then switch over to the 2025 theme by clicking activate. We can see that that's activated on the site. I'm just gonna click on edit site up here. Okay, so now we're in the full site editor. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. First, styles, I'm gonna click on that. As we can see, we've got a nice styles panel right here and we've got access to our typography. We can change different typesets, fonts, elements. If we go back, we can also change colors as well. So we can edit our color palette if we want to. And if we go back, we can choose the individual elements as well whilst editing the site. And if we click back again, we've got things like background, shadows, and layouts as well. that we can all be edited from this styles panel. Fantastic. Also, if we head over to pages and click on pages, that'll open up all the pages that we've got. Obviously, I haven't got very many on this site as it's a demo site, but if you hover over a page 
and then click on the three little dots here for actions. You can also select now set as home page or set as post page as well. So you can set the page as a blog post page from the full site editor, which is a fantastic little addition. Let's talk about some quality of life improvements that will make managing your content easier. The query loop block, you know that thing that displays your posts, got a neat upgrade. You can now choose whether to include sticky posts or not. Okay, so I'm just creating a new post. I'm gonna add the query block. So forward slash query loop, there we go. I'm gonna choose the pattern for it. I'm just gonna select this pattern right here. And then once that's in place, I'm gonna head over here onto the right hand side underneath sticky posts. Click drop down, you can now see you can ignore sticky posts as well. And if you've ever wrestled with sticky posts messing up your carefully planned layout, you'll appreciate that one. Okay, so here's something that might not sound exciting, but it's actually really important. WordPress is upgrading its password security system. They're switching to something called Bcrypt. While you won't see any difference in how you log in, your passwords will be much better protected. It's like WordPress quietly installed a better security system while keeping your house looking exactly the same. And the best part, you don't have to do anything. It all happens automatically when you update. There are also some nice touches for specific needs. Better handling for different languages in error messages, improved pattern organization, and some developer-friendly updates that make creating with WordPress more efficient. So there you have it. WordPress 6.8 isn't reinventing the wheel, but it is making that wheel roll a bit smoother. Whether it's the snappier page loads, better security, or those small but mighty design tweaks, there's probably something here that will make your WordPress life a little better. Drop a comment below and let me know which of these updates you're most excited about. And hey, if you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more WordPress tips and updates. I'll see you in the next video.